Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is no stranger to the show. Since his last visit, he's become a Grammy-nominated gospel singer. Uh, We're going to talk about music and so much more. Please welcome Gene Moore back down to the circle. Thank hey. y'all for having me. I missed y'all. How y'all doing? Y'all look beautiful, by the way. Thank you. And, you and happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. You, got you. you got your red. I got my red on. on. got my no. red on trying to represent. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Like so you got your crimson on. Yeah. Grammy yeah. nominated. So you went down to the Grammys? I went to the Grammys. How was the experience? Well, first, I, I got to give you a quick backstory. Okay. So it was around 6.45 in the morning. Yes. Me and my wife are asleep. Mm -hmm. And uh, my phone is ringing. And, you know, normally I keep my phone on vibrate overnight. And it just kept going z z z And yeah. I'm, I'm like, yo, who's calling me? Did somebody die? Like, right, because that's right. what you yeah. Yeah. yeah, nobody calls me this early. So, I, I, you know, I picked the phone up. It was my record label. And they said, hey, you got to wake up. I'm like, for what, man? You know what time it is? Right. They were like, yo, you got your first Grammy nomination. I'm like, what? Right. No. <laughs> no, 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 not me. And then, you know, I looked at the uh, the, the other nominees on mm -hmm. the on the on the ballot and I was like, I'm just two records in, you know, and, and I, I was going up against like CeCe Winans mm -hmm. and Kirk Franklin. You know, these are people who are considered as icons in the gospel mm -hmm. industry. Sure, yeah. And so, you know, just to even be in that company, mm -hmm. it was a major accomplishment for me. So uh, mm -hmm. it was an awesome experience. My wife and I went up there, had a Hit great time. Hit the red carpet looking yeah. good. Yeah. So yeah. you just had that suit laying around waiting? Oh, well, hey, listen, <laughs> I had to get that suit made. I was like, yo, I can't wear my church suit. No, I got I to gotta step it up a couple of notches. Right. I, you know, I got I to gotta get a suit made for this, you yeah. know, so yeah. Well, I think we did all right. I think you, you did. did. Yeah. That's That's exciting. Some people don't get it, you know, because they say, oh, it's just an honor being nominated. You're like, yeah, okay, but it's it's a real thing because it's like yeah. for the rest of your life you'll be Grammy, Grammy nominated. nominated artist. Yeah. Right. Gene, right. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a yeah. <laughs> and, and you know what? Uh, another thing that people have to consider is that there are so many tears that you have to go mm -hmm. through just to even be considered as yeah. a nominee. Yeah. So, sure you do. know, it's not easy to just get on that ballot. You know, there have been people who have been in the industry for years and have never, never gotten a nomination. Yeah. You know, and I don't say this boasting. I say this with all humility, but I thank God that I'm just two albums in mm -hmm. and, you know, he gave me the door, the favor to be able to you know, even just become man. a nominee. So, man, you know, hopefully one day I win, you know, yeah. but, uh, and yeah. much love to my man, Kirk Franklin. You know, he he got the award. But, yeah. you know, still, just to even be in the company, it was great. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. My yeah. gosh. Well, now, you've been keeping good company. Yeah. Over the last year, you're married. Yeah. For one year, one year uh -huh. in. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. you. That's yeah. beautiful. So tell us, how has your love journey been this past year? Mm. Oh, man. Let me tell you something. I want to go on record and say that I have the best wife. Um, I, I love that woman. Wow, she's beautiful. Uh, I'm, I'm in love with that woman. She, yes. she is a God sent to me, and and I can't I can't see myself with anybody else except for my wife. Oh. Um, it, it's been a, it's been an interesting <clears throat> excuse me. It's been an interesting journey, uh, and you know, and I can't say that it's just been all easy because you know you're taking two different temperaments, two personalities, <laughs> and then you're trying to merge them together. But uh, the thing that my wife and I do, uh, we we talk about everything. We've learned that you cannot be passive aggressive in a uh, you know in a marriage and it, and it doesn't mean be a bully it doesn't mean be antagonistic but you cannot be passive aggressive you have to talk about everything because how else are you going to learn your other you know your partner's triggers and mm -hmm. their likes and their dislikes and and the thing about arguing is when you argue you're never arguing about that one isolated incident mm -hmm. you're arguing about 10 other things mm -hmm. that you didn't speak up about so the thing <laughs> is nip it in the bud now talk about it and then you know you know, it's it's easy selling. So you yeah. know, it's been a, it's been an incredible year. Yeah, right. you yeah. got big plans tonight. I know. She, you, I mean, you gotta. <laughs> he, he, well, you gotta do it tomorrow because yeah. she's in Houston. Yeah, she's yeah. in Houston. Okay, and, and she's not feeling well. And she told him anyway. Let me tell you about a good woman. Yeah. She told him anyway. She said, you know what, baby, you should go ahead and go to the sister circle. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna be okay here. Yeah. And I love that. And then I said, did you send her flowers? And he said, I did, Quad. And I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are right. We are right. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So mm. would, would you say that there are other, you, you know what, you should, he, by the way, guys, this is <laughs> joke so you know, but are there any more important aspects that really make your marriage work that you would like to share uh, important aspects uh, I already said you know don't be passive-aggressive talk about everything and then the thing that you did to get your spouse 
maintain it. It's good. Just because you're married, it doesn't mean that everything diminishes. That's when it you starts. Know, uh, I, I learned this, and uh, my dad my dad told me, he said, uh, a talk a day, a date a week, and a getaway a month. Ooh, Ooh. I like your daddy. He's yeah. he nice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's how we keep the marriage fresh. Yeah, yes. I like that. Well, speaking of fresh, you are freshly off tour mm -hmm. with India Irie. Yes, so yes. So tell us about that. India Irie, okay, so um, let me say this about tour life. Tour life, and, and you know, y'all can y'all can attest to this, man. Tour life is not for the, it's not for the week. It's not. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if, if we don't have an off day, a regular day would be, uh, you know, going to the venue like around 1 p.m sound check and you stand there all day and then you may not even leave until like one in the morning get back on the bus and do it all over when we get to the next city so you know it, it is very uh, draining physically but it was exciting yes. I would do it all over again yes. India Irie is uh, she's she's the best man mm -hmm. you know she's just she's just not an artist but uh, she is uh, she's an incredible human being yes. Yes. you know and I enjoy being out with her yeah. yeah I'm sure she echoes those sentiments about you you know I sure hope so <laughs> <laughs> bring you no, back I, out I think so yeah absolutely that's good stuff. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff. Well, we appreciate you being here. Yeah. And Thank somebody said me. you're going to be performing a little bit later yeah, on I'm, in the I'm show. A, I'm do Ooh, a that's a good yeah. Valentine's Day treat. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to do a little something. Some for the people in the back. So make sure you get his latest CD, Tunnel Vision, on all streaming platforms. Not CD, his latest music on all streaming <laughs> platforms. We can get CDs too. Um, so thank you so much. Of course, he's going to sing a little bit later on in the show. But next, uh, we hit the couch for one of our favorite segments and another thing. Valentine's Day edition. Woo, oh, that's gonna be a hot one. <laughs> <laughs> This is it getting you better than this. Such a great day. Yeah. Yeah. We hope you've enjoyed our Valentine's Day special. Um, thank you to all of our guests, and we hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day yeah. as well. On Monday, we're going to get all of the Valentine's Day, uh, Valentine's Day tea from our girl boss uh, editor, Danny Canada. Sharina, tell the people where you're going to be this weekend. I'm going to be at the Riverside Epicenter. I'm going to mm -hmm. be doing a play, Lolita Snipes, Head Over Heels. Yes. And it's going to be a great time to be had by all myself, Tamika Scott, one of my BFFs. Yes. You know, Q Parker, Tony Town, et cetera, et cetera. Daddy Peoples, who's yeah. in here a long time. God. Yeah. And it's going to be just a great time. That's so, right. Yeah. We're Come excited. And sing it. Yes. Well, here to take us out of this amazing showcase of love, singing his single, Coming Home, G Moore. Congratulations, Rui and Yana. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so exciting. Jeopardizing my destiny And no matter how I try to do it I'll be on my own I know I am better when I'm in your arms And not alone Cause you made me known You shake me, form me into your image And I know you'll take me, love me Until I look just like you So I made up my mind I don't wanna be lonely been a long time since I let you hold me, yeah. I can't live without your love, the only thing I'm thinking of is being in your arms, I'm coming, oh. Coming, 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 coming back home. Coming, 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 coming back home, boy. With sincerity. My mind, I don't wanna be the 